Okay, today is, today's, this morning's a different day, and still got only two coats of poly on the countertops. But I think what I'm going to do this morning, instead of doing another coat on that and having to wait on it, I'm going to take this range hood out. And they don't want to keep it. They don't want a range hood. They want a microwave in there, and we have the microwave, but I'm not sure how it's all going to fit. So I've got to take this out and get it unwired and get it out and i'm gonna have to do a little cabinet work in order to get that thing to fit and i'm kind of just gonna i mean i think i know what i gotta do but i'm gonna kind of gonna have to figure it out as i go and that's kind of how i do things i get once i get started into it i kind of figure out as i go what i need to do uh i didn't want to put the, another coat of poly on this and have to wait two or three hours and not really be able to do anything else so i'm going to work on this and if it all goes smoothly enough and I can get it in in a couple of two or three hours, then I can put another coat on the countertops. And if it has time to dry, then I can possibly do another coat late this evening. And then that'll make four. I don't know how many it's going to take. I'm just going to keep putting them on until it gets the way we like it and the way she likes it. So I'm going to get started on that and see how it turns out. Today I'm going to cook dad some lunch on the stove that he put in. I thought that would be a nice thing to do and I'm also hoping that while he's here maybe I can convince him to hang some of the mirrors that I found recently. <laughs> I'm going to make us some grilled cheese and just be easy and quick. We're pretty hungry so I think that'll be a good lunch and it'll be a nice thing to do since he put this stove in and he's done so much work on this house for me in Austin and we're just very grateful. My secret ingredient to grow cheese, and Dad is actually the one who taught me this, is just a tiny, tiny bit of sugar. That just makes it just a little bit sweet, but not too sweet. Now go ahead and get the next one ready. While the grilled cheese cook, I'm going to cut us up an orange to have with it. I'm 
I've got one more. I think I'll cut it too. Alright, I'd say that one is done too. I like to cut these in half. some oranges dad wanted some sea salt and vinegar chips and I'm just gonna have some plain chips and there's dad some ginger ale and me some water and it's ready lunch is served thank you dear looks good <laughs> I hope that you enjoy it I'm starving. I know. Thank you. Me too. I'll get mine and we'll go eat. Yeah. <sighs> Alright. Here is your paper towel. Thank you, dear. Mm -hmm. We're having to sit on the couch because we don't have our kitchen table ready to eat it yet. <laughs> We're still working on it. I said we just have to eat on the couch. Of course, we got all of our little better. <laughs> you like your grilled cheese? Very good. Good. Looks like it's gonna rain outside. It's supposed to rain any time. Good. Mm -hmm. I'm getting hungry. Me too. Grilled cheese is just always nice and easy. Yeah, I love her. I ain't had one in a while. Me neither. Do you know what the secret ingredient in it is? What? Should I put in there? You taught me to put it in there. A little bit of sugar? Uh-huh. No, I've always done that. <laughs> Just a little. Tiny bit. Makes it good. A little bit of honey in it would be good. Yeah, I bet it would be. I bet what would be really good is if you had some, I don't know, Swiss or really good quality cheese on the sourdough bread. Yep. That would be really good. So now that I've got you down here, I have ulterior motives. <laughs> yeah. I was wondering if maybe you'd want to hang the mirrors. Let's see what I can do. Zebra cakes for dessert. Thank you, dear. <laughs> I got some gum bears. This is perhaps not the most nutritious one, but <laughs> I don't care. We do the best we can do. We have this again. About to have one of those big as a hub cap. <laughs> you and Austin both. Mm -hmm. So while Dad gets the mirrors up or starts doing that, I'm actually going to make a grilled cheese and walk it up to Katie. She can have some for lunch. That looks great. I'm very pleased with that. It fills up the space perfectly. It's gonna fit nicely. But and that thing, that thing's heavy. It's got to have to have, I've got to get a stud. 
And if there's going to be anything to hit in there centrally, there's a hole here which tells me probably not. So there's going to be a stud there and there's going to be a stud there. got it looking good in here. I think it looks great. That should hold it. Thank you. I think that looks wonderful. Thank you for putting in my stove and my microwave. You're welcome. I love it. I hope you enjoyed your lunch. It was very good. I <laughs> especially good cooked on a freshly installed stove. Absolutely. You can see we still got some stuff to do. We need to put on the cabinet hardware. Thank you for putting in the mirrors too. Those look awesome. You're welcome. So this has been a good day. Yep. Busy, busy. We always appreciate you stopping by and we will see you on the next one.